Here, a user can decide among multiple options. The if statements are executed from the top down. As soon as one of the conditions controlling the if is true, the statement associated with that if is executed and the rest of the ladder is bypassed. If none of the conditions is true, then the final else statement will be executed. The last else is optional. Its syntax is as follows. Let's write a simple C program to demonstrate if else if ladder. Create a new file in code box and save it as s3-07.c. Write hash include open close angular brackets stdio.h. Write the main function int main open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return 0 semicolon. Declare an integer variable num int num semicolon. Prompt the user to enter a number. Printf parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write enter any number. Store the user input in num. Scanf semicolon within double quotes percent d comma ampersand num. Check if num is less than 0. If num is less than 0. If true, print number is negative. Printf semicolon within double quotes number is negative. Else if parenthesis write the condition num double equals to 0. We are checking if number is 0. Else if the number is 0, print number is 0. Printf number is 0. Else, else print number is positive. Printf semicolon within double quotes number is positive. Press F9 to run the program. Test the program with one negative, one zero and one positive number. Minus 9, number is negative. Zero, number is zero. Fifteen, number is positive. All right. Next challenge for you to write a program to find the max between three numbers using if else if ladder. Go for it. Pause the video now. Welcome back. I hope you managed that as well. If you haven't, then just follow along with me. I will create a file and save it as s3 underscore 08.c. Write hash include stdio.h write the main function int main open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return 0 declare four integer variables int num1 
comma num2 comma num3 comma max semicolon prompt the user to enter the three numbers printf within double quotes write enter the three numbers store the user input in num1 num2 and num3 respectively scan if open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes person d person d person d comma m percent num1 comma m percent num2 comma m percent num3 next check if num1 is greater than num2 and num1 is greater than num3 if num1 greater than num2 and num1 greater than num3 if true num1 is greater than both so store num1 in max max equals to num1 semicolon else if within parenthesis write the condition num2 greater than num1 and num2 greater than num3 else if num2 is greater than num1 and num2 is greater than num3 then num2 is greater than both so store num2 in max max equals to num2 semicolon else if num3 greater than num1 and num3 greater than num2 else if num3 is greater than num1 and num3 is greater than num2 then num3 is greater than both so store num3 in max max equals to num3 semicolon finally print max print f within double quotes write max equals to percent d comma max press f9 to run the code enter three numbers minus 3 8 3 max is 8 all right run the program again 0 5 2 max is 5 fantastic the above approach was short and little easy to understand however we are unnecessarily checking six conditions another challenge for you to optimize the code and use only three conditions Can you do that? Go for it. You can pause the video now. We'll come back. Did you manage that? Let's check out my solution. Save the above file as s3_09.c. Edit the code like this. num2 greater than num3 and else only let me explain the code if the first if condition is false we already know that num1 is not max so in the first else if we can ignore num1 and we compare num2 with num3 if it's true then max is 
num2 otherwise in the final else num3 should be max i hope you understand the logic hit f9 to run the program Zero, minus two, seven. Max is seven. Run the program again. Minus five, minus two, zero. Max is zero. All right, perfect. That's all for this lecture. See you in the next lecture.